So in this part, I want to talk about the uh, post masking and paint job that were was applied after the decals. In the last part, I showed you the specialized decals I got from Lake County Spaceport, the black and white decals, um, and how I was going to solve the problem of uh, where to paint the undercoat of the decals uh, because the Revell Orbiter didn't give me a good outline. Uh, so I bought my first set of decals and I applied them, which you saw in the last video, which was not a perfect job, but it gave me what I needed. And that uh, what I did was I spent uh, a lot of time masking uh, around those decals. And then I either sanded the decals and primed over them uh, or removed the decal completely. Some pieces of decal were stubborn. And if they were that stubborn, then they're not going anywhere. And I sanded over them and, and smoothed them out uh, as best I could. Uh, so is it perfect? No. Um, am I happy with it? Sure. Uh, so I'll talk about some of the color choices. In the last video, I talked about um, the felt uh, at the front of the shuttle being, uh, I said XF7 was German gray. Correction, it's it's like a racing white. Um, uh, racing white is like a creamy yellowish. Um, and I was going to use uh, use that, but I decided against it. The the low temperature tiles on the side, I don't know if you'll pick up the color difference here. There's a slight variation. This is just white with a drop of XF24 dark gray. Um, and I use that through the front. So the, the felt tiles and the low temperature tiles are all going to be that. And the reason why I made that decision was because all the reference shots that I have of the shuttle show that that off gray being the case um, and not not a yellow so as I said in the last video I'm using this as a guide and you'll see that it, there's it's an off gray along the the leading edge of the wing here and then it's the same throughout the cabin and so that's kind of what I did um, to this it's the off gray for the sleeves or the gloves and then the off gray along the drilling edge. So I was happy with that. Uh, the rest of the shuttle is just white. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned in the last video, underneath the high speed or the high temperature tile, which is the black, Lake County Spaceport recommended an XF63 or a German gray, whether that's flat or gloss. Um, and I mentioned that I might use an XF69, which is NATO black, which is darker. And so I did a test on that old Airfix shuttle. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this properly or not. Maybe I'll zoom in. Yeah, maybe you can see it there. On the right, you have the XF69. And I... I wasn't happy with that. I was convinced I was going to use this, but it's too dark. And although it might be the right color, you'll lose a lot of the tile detail in that. Um, this is German Gray XF63, and it's perfect. Um, I, when you just look at XF63, which is like this gray, mind you, this is brushed on, not airbrushed. Um, it, it's really light. Um, it, it's not the color of the shuttle at all. But when you apply those black tile decals over it, it does make it look bang on. So when you're looking at this, you're you're seeing um, you're seeing a, a, a gray, not a black. That'll change when I put the decals on. Um, and then there was the carbon carbon edging here on the nose. And on the leading edge of the wing, this is really, I went with a lighter color on purpose. Uh, it is a bit darker than this. Um, one of the reasons why I did that is because I'm going to weather it. And maybe in this video or the next, I'll show you what I, how I do that. I'm, a lot of people know about dot filtering. It's just oil dot filters that you put on there that gives it a, a streaked, wear, worn out look. Because these leading edges of the wings take quite a, a beating. Uh, and they're not this clean and 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 uh, perfect. So I'm gonna I'm gonna weather the leading edge a little bit. Um, and then the other color that I applied was actually the NATO black. The anything that gets a high speed tile or the tile deckle, the black tile, it's gonna be 
over the gray, but there are areas that don't get tile that would remain gray if I didn't tile them. So I had to paint them black. And when the, the black tile uh, is applied to the German gray, it'll show almost as dark as this. Um, and what I mean is on the leading edge of the wing, uh, Lake County Spaceport has uh, a decal that, that has that already in there, but I wasn't happy with that. So I just, I, I masked this off and painted that. Uh, the front part of the ailerons, there are some tiles for that. Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm just using it black. And then the leading edge there, black. So that is actual black. It's not being tiled. It is the finished product as it is. And then the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer and then the underneath of the vertical stabilizer. You can see the color difference there. That'll be tile and that won't be. So um, e each color required a mask and every mask required me to cover the whole shuttle. So I had to mask off the, uh, I had to mask off the black tile. Uh, then I had to mask off the actual black without tile. Then I had to mask off the uh, off-white light gray tone. Then I had to mask off the white. Um, and every time that mask had to happen, uh, I had to cover the whole shuttle because you don't want bleeding. Each color was a layer of masking. Uh, I have to say, I, in the beginning, I enjoyed it. It just became tedious after a while, and I, I was just ready to be done. Um, and so there are some blemishes. There are some details that I wish I could fix or do over. Uh, one thing that you want to be careful of um, when you buy a, any, any a shuttle kit, and no matter what scale, you're always going to have problems with the bay doors, like I said in earlier videos, you're always going to have problem, fit problems. You're always going to have gaps here. Every, every shuttle I've had where the front comes and meets, you'll have a gap here. And uh, I've, I, you can't see it now because I've, I've filled it and sanded it. But there's a, there's a huge gap here and a huge gap here. I'll show you on the old Airfix gap. I've showed that in another video. Um, when you're when you're filling that and puttying it, you have to be really careful not to sand away the surface detail, um, and that's exactly what happened on this edge here a little bit. There's there was etched lines along here that differentiated between the the gray carbon and the black strip, and those lines were gone. I had to guess them uh, for for the width, and uh, so that's part of the part of the challenge, I guess, is is the sanding. Uh, so yeah. Um, that, that was a lot of work, um, but it's now ready for its final deck application. Um, I've glossed it over. I've once again put future over this. So all this paint is sealed and it's shiny again, although not as shiny as before. Um, and, uh, now the decals will go on even easier. One last thing I'll mention about this is the, I call, I've been calling them bricks. They're tiles, but the black bricks on the side were a bit of a challenge to mask off and paint. Um, they're not perfect, but I'm happy. I'm happy with them. Um, and one of the bricks, if there is a brick here. I filled it with styrene uh, as much as I could. I'd say about 80% of it is filled with styrene. And the reason why I did that was because on the shuttle itself, I'll bring my book in here. It's an old book. On the shuttle itself, there's the four bricks and then there's a massive black, I don't know if it's a brick or uh, some feature there. Uh, and I still have yet to put these in. 
Um, so I've covered over that. And now I have an extra set of black uh, decals from the uh, the uh, solid rocket boosters. I'll put that there. And when I soften the decal, it would sink into the crevice. So I wanted to cover that up a little bit. Um, the other thing Ravel got wrong, which I can't really expect much from Ravel. It's just, it's not a detailed kit. They, they, they forgot to put the bricks on this side. There are bricks on this side. Um, so uh, more next video.